How's it going guys? Cracked Rack here and welcome to another episode of Making Fun of People Less Fortunate Than Me For Monetary Gain. On today's episode of Making Fun of People Less Fortunate Than Me For Monetary Gain, I figured we'd take a deep dive into the metaphorical lol cow ocean. After taking a long hard swim in this ocean, this big beautiful vast ocean, I found a beautiful mermaid. A mermaid who just can't stop getting discriminated against. It's like people hate this mermaid for no reason. That mermaid's name is Jessica Yaniv. Now, there is an elephant in the room when discussing this individual that I'm not gonna mention, because things will get way too heated in the comments section, and YouTube will subsequently punch me in the balls. Just know that any criticism I have towards this beautiful individual is simply for their actions, and not anything else. Also, just as a note to any middle-aged mothers watching this, the people I cover are all doing this very embarrassing stuff extremely publicly, literally in front of millions of people. It's not like I'm sneaking into these people's houses and like following them around from room to room and recording them for these episodes. No, that's not happening. These people are massive public figures, no pun intended, with huge underground followings that are just there to laugh at the insanity. So I'm no villain here. I am an innocent bystander just trying to entertain people and Educate the youth. Also, if any middle-aged moms are watching this, I like MILFs, so please call me. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, it's time to talk about the literal superstar of today's show. A beautiful, self-achieving woman known as Jessica Yaniv. Jessica Yaniv is a 34-year-old badass who roams the streets of Canada like she's Batman, looking for those who would dare be interested in discriminating against her. Her claim to fame came a few years ago, when she contacted 15 beauty salons attempting to get a wax on her genital area. The problem is that Jessica still is packing a pepperoni sausage down there, which I'm not trying to make any political statement on. However, it's very understandable that regardless of Jessica's identity, no self-respecting salon would want to wax someone's penis and balls. That's just gross, and I don't even understand why he'd want to do that in the first place. That sounds horribly painful. Anyway, the point of this story is that when the salons refused her service, she tried to sue all 15 of them. That's kind of Jessica's thing. If you don't cater to her like you're her maid, you're pretty much getting sued. Now, Mrs. Yaniv is actually quite educated, believe it or not. She went to a pretty good polytechnic university for years, and her greatest accomplishment when going there was literally inventing a holiday. That holiday being, get this, National Sex Day. That's right, in 2008, Jessica started a huge internet campaign to create this new holiday known as National Sex Day, where essentially it was just like this big orgy that would happen at like the same time on the same day. I don't know, it's really weird. However, I will mention that it's on August 21st, which is my birthday. Surprisingly, over like 100,000 people joined this Facebook internet group to do this National Sex Holiday, so that's pretty disgusting. And also, after looking more into Jessica, I'm pretty sure this was just some weird half-brained scheme to get laid. Because if you want to know something about Jessica, it's that she's a disgusting fiend for sex. It's all she thinks about all day. She continually does predatory things towards women and children. Just scrolling through this individual's various articles about them, you can just point at any direction and find something really fucked up that Jessica did to a child or a woman. Like at one point in time, Jessica was obsessed with 10 year olds needing tampons. So he asked a bunch of his female friends how he could approach giving tampons to little girls. And then eventually in this text over here, he straight up asks, if this girl wants a tampon, should I give her one and instruct her on how to use it? Whoa, dude, you're an actual pedophile, what the heck? That's nasty. And frankly, the reason I'm making this episode about you. She also has a huge history of asking little girls extremely inappropriate sexual questions on the app Ask FM. If you don't know what Ask FM is, it's essentially like a website where you can post questions on someone's board or wall or whatever it's called, and then like you respond to it and the questions are like anonymous. It's, it's a stupid app for middle schoolers, that's what it is. Well, Jessica likes to go on there and just ask disgusting shit to little kids. And just know, if she's referred to as Jonathan in this, that's her dead name. So this was a little, a little while ago. Uh, here she is, or I guess he at the time, asking a 13-year-old girl who he worked with on a project if he was sexy or not. 
Do you think that Jonathan, who worked for Key Morelli, is a sexy beast? Would you hook up with him? Then the girl very reasonably states, Jonathan, you're 30, I'm 13, I'm calling the cops. Here she is asking a teenage girl, do girls change outside of the bathroom stalls? So overall, Jessica Yanev is a huge pervert. A creep to everybody and someone who is extremely lawsuit happy for some reason. I don't know why she's so obsessed with lawsuits. There's like a million more things I could talk about with this individual, but like that's not what this series is about. I just mainly want to give you a little taste test here. That's what the series is about. It's not about documenting every little single thing like I'm a fucking ancient historian or something. It's about giving you a little taste of insanity in each episode. A little drop of piss on your tongue is what this is all about. Overall, I think we can all agree that Jessica is a beautiful woman with beautiful hair and a beautiful smile, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with her whatsoever. So yeah, that's all. See ya!